Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. This is the Happy Ehi Asa channel, and I am happy. And he I am is a yes. You let me talk. Uh, let me see my name by myself. It's okay, I beg you. And he is Ehi. In this channel, we talk about our experiences, some advice, some chit chats, that sort of thing. We are still exploring what we can do here. So thank you for following us. Thank you for subscribing and for um, commenting and for turning on that bell. And if you haven't, please do so. <laughs> um, what do you want to say? talk now? Anyways, today I'm, I'm, I'm not the one talking, you know. It's not me that will be giving you the gist. The pressure. It's not me. Uh -uh. Today it is happy storm. <laughs> we have seen many of you in the comments <laughs> box talking about, oh, when are we going? When are you going to talk about happy ex experience in Nigeria? When is happy going to go to Nigeria? Well, well, I have been to Nigeria in another lifetime, and um, and today happy will be telling you about our experience when she came to. Nigeria. Let's just make it clear. This was in 2009. How many years ago is that? 2009 is almost uh, 13 years ago. And of course, I had not met this guy. So. But, or maybe we met. <laughs> but we can't remember. Or maybe our past crossed. But we can't remember. Who knows? Anyway, I want to give a big thank you to an organization called ISEC, a student run organization that arranged the exchange program. And I was attached in Abuja, University of Abuja. Is yes. that what they call it? Yeah, University, of, University Abuja. of Abuja. And I spent two months in Nigeria. Two whole months. Immersing myself in the culture. In the culture, preparing her for this moment. You know. <laughs> so when I met this tall, loud person, I was like, preparing her for <laughs> for now. This is nothing new. I've seen it before. So that was really nice. That was really nice. So point one. <laughs> Some of you join ISEC so that you can open your mind. Because some of you might be suffering from closed mindedness. Join ISEC. That's all I will say. Yeah, so, but ISEC doesn't take anybody. Anyway, try to explore the world. You know, don't just limit yourself. I think that's a better point. Don't just limit yourself to your country. Open borders. your mind. Open your mind. <laughs> so, anyway, I went in 2009, like I said, we landed in Lagos. As soon as we left the, the AC inside the airport, when the doors open like this, Lagos hit her. <laughs> Lagos hit her. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, you know, it's hot in Botswana, but it's hot and humid. And there are people. This, there, there are people. It's not. It's not like Botswana where there are no people. There are people. The place is full ground. Back then, I think the population of Botswana was less than two million. 2009, it was less than 2 million. The same number of population around the airport in Lagos. That is pretty much around the airport in Lagos. Maybe we have like 2.5 million people staying around there. But let me tell you something that was magical. This one was good. We landed. Our flight to go to Abuja left us. So that means we missed the flight. We are supposed to get it the following day. We didn't... Let me just explain. It was three young girls, three university girls, who came to Nigeria without any parents, without anything. How old was I then? Never mind. But we were very young, and we, we were so naive. We didn't know anything. You know, you know when you, oh our flight is gone, you just ask a random person. Oh, so what do we do? Oh, what? Just just randomly like that. But we met one man. This was not a predator. This was not a helper. This was a good man. This was the average Nigerian man. That's what most of you don't understand. This was the average Nigerian man. This man told us, you know what, you two girls, don't leave the airport. Because when we had this conversation, we were outside the doors. So he said, don't leave the airport. Just stay in the airport. Your flight is in the morning. Just sit on those chairs. Use the bathroom. Don't leave the airport. Because we're just thinking, oh, let's just walk out, look for a hotel. You know? <laughs> <laughs> People have found themselves in Mushi. <laughs> look for a hotel, you have gone to Mushi. Anyway. Run into the trenches. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we stayed, we stayed, we just sat down. You know, he stayed all night. What do you need? Water? What? But you could see this is not a rich man or anything. Because when he said, what do you need? He said, 
airport water is expensive. Let me run outside to get you what you need. He brought some stuff for us to eat. We slept on the benches. He was right there. That is how in the morning, we got his number. We got his name. But in the morning, he was not there. Till today. That's the average line. She helped me for Till today. He helped us that night. He helped everything till today. I don't know where this man is. Or I don't know That's the average man. She for you. We were so We grateful. have. And then we leave. <laughs> that is it. That's all I can say. <laughs> we, were, yeah, we were so grateful for that man. Anyway. We got our flights the next day. We went to Abuja. The people who were meeting us in Abuja yeah, met us, welcomed us, and we stayed in a we stayed in a host family the first week <laughs> in the burbs. In the burbs, you know, it felt like we were inside Cape Town. Hey, it was sweet. Which part of Abuja is that? It could be maybe Maitama uh, or or Use or. I, 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 I don't know. Any of those places. It was really, really nice. Everything. Until they said, okay, now you are transferring to the university you are attached to. We went from dormitory to dormitory to dormitory. Today you are this with this one. Today you are tomorrow you are with this one. But it was, let, let me just tell you. You know when you say dormitory, ask when you say dormitory. Within the university, we have our hostels. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you have the same thing. But this one, no, it's just a big yard with room, 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 room. Uh, those, those, are, those are private hostels, ah. you know, not provided by the school, but they are usually student accommodations, you know, around the school by private landlords. Ah. So those are, those are basic. That's where I lived in the university. Ah, okay. So yeah, yeah, that's where we lived and it was so much fun, but there was no light. <laughs> There's still no light. 13 years ago, there was no light. There's still no light now. There was no light. And when we leave, they say all the generators say, I'm going to stay in the dark hole. We didn't have to. <laughs> they know how to draw generator. It's not in their culture to, to, to draw generator. <laughs> <laughs> These are things we learned from childhood. <laughs> how to pull. How to, how to check plug. How to make sure the plug does not soak. <laughs> how to soak wet. <laughs> anyway, anyway, we stayed it was until somebody figured out oh those girls are always just in the dark from like and evening time and there was a guy around the compass who used to around the dormitories who used to help us. Another thing now some people and buy food. Oh let's go, let's go and buy food. Me, I think we are going to shop right. <laughs> <laughs> Shop left. <laughs> I read the shop left. <laughs> no, we just went to the market. I really appreciate the experience, but it's it's different. Like you know, we're all from Africa, but it's it's yeah, kind it's, of different. It's different. Yeah. For us, we have open air markets, yes, like yes. markets, like in the traditional terms of markets, yeah. not uh, shopping malls and shops yeah, yeah, yeah. And like that. But it was nice. You buy the vegetables, and then after you buy the vegetables, there's a lady to grind with some machine there. They grind that. So when you go home, you go with the, the well, plastic, yeah. with everything. Is, that was really cool because you don't have to start chopping at home now. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Food services, you know. <laughs> We're innovative. We provide food services to you. No, not, not it, Yeah, much. it was a really great experience. That was Abuja. We also went to... Yeah, turn it off. We also went to... After Abuja, I forgot. But Joss. I, well, we made our way Joss. to Joss. Joss is... It has a lot of hills, yeah? yeah. It's not like yeah. So we made our way to Joss. We were in one car like that. They said let's go and take a bus. I think we're going to the bus station, you know. It was this cars which just one one like uh, what do they call it? It's it's a should I say a taxi? Mm. But an old version. Yeah, yeah car. That's car. It, it goes very fast. Yeah, you won't car. believe that that car is Bonjour. <laughs> Pojo cab. Yeah, you won't believe that it's still moving. Ah, those are the cab. Pojo. Everlasting. <laughs> Ever going. Pojo, yes. But it's like this. Like, so you have to open the windows. You know, the air, it was so nice. I will look for the. I went with one girl. I'm going to look for her. Facebook, I'm going to check her. It was really, really nice. We made it to Jaws. The groove was so sweet inside Jaws. Ah, ah. That's, that's what you are known for. The, the groups has to start in the afternoon. When you think it's going to the peak, 
They said, no, pack your things. We need to be quiet. We are going back. That's how we entered the car. Police stopped us. They just said, keep quiet, keep quiet, keep quiet. My heart, though, too. What was wrong with your heart? There's no police in Botswana. No, because, I don't know, the guys are the ones who told us, don't even say anything. You must make, there's curfew. I didn't know anything about curfew. I didn't think even I knew that word. What that word meant? <laughs> what, what is curfew? <laughs> Why are you coughing when like one COVID hit? No, you cannot move, you cannot walk after 10 in Joss. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. Because Joss has had many, yeah. many uh, security problems. Yeah. But the crew was so sweet. And the nice part about that cafe is that, A, you have to start early, enjoy, enjoy, and then, you know, by 10 you go home. In Joss, I met a lot of people who were Nigerians, but they were so light, light skinned, like Arabs. We are, we are a mixed country. <laughs> we, that, maybe that's why we Nigerians were very tolerant. Because our country is so diverse in terms of yes. tribes. We have okay. over 350 languages. We have more than 500 tribes okay. in that small space. Oh. So there is a whole lot of diversity. That Diversity outside of Nigeria is not a problem for us like you have in some countries where they know how to point out you are a foreigner, yeah, you are this, you are that. Yeah, yeah. In Nigeria, it's very difficult to point somebody out as a foreigner because it might be a language you've never heard, it might be a kind of person you've never seen, but they are as much mm -hmm. Nigerian as you are. I met so many lovely people in, 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 in Nigeria. In Joss, where else did I live? Oh, we also Tell live. them you broke Nigerian law. Tell them you <laughs> broke Nigerian law. Which because Nigerian it looks law? like uh, it's only Nigerians that know how to break laws. <laughs> Which Nigeria? Do you think you overstay your visa? <laughs> Is that not an immigration violation? You don't know how to keep quiet. You should be in jail. <laughs> you know, if not for the hospitality and the friendliness of the Nigerian spirits, you know, when we know how to assess situations based on individualizing. Yeah. Let me tell you, we show them that, we talk to the people that, uh, uh, you know, we cannot, the embassy that we cannot, because our flight is from this time to this time, don't give us just a short visa like that. They say, no, don't worry, just go. Coming out of Nigeria, that's what they said, oh, your visa is expired. They say, oh, we know. They say, uh, uh, you know? Say yes. You, they overstay visa almost a month. Imagine. It was sweet now. You imagine. <laughs> If it's me now that went to overstay visa, let's say even in Botswana, before you know now, they've can't stick and say this Nigeria. This, they overstay visa, but our people knowing that oh, these are young students, you know, they have come here to experience our culture. You know, we should give we... them some 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 slack. Let's cut them some slack. Is that what happened? Were you not cut a slack? I mean, we we enjoy. We just see the band like this. We just shake the band hands like. They make the band and don't jazz in the height of the band. <laughs> when the band was the band of the band, they make the band. Imagine and don't jazz. <laughs> In fact, we will insert that picture in this video. They made the band. If they want to come me in that picture. <laughs> they made the band. Baby, you, it you know, was they, so they, nice. they enjoyed Nigeria. They even enjoyed, even after breaking the law, they still enjoyed Nigeria. And that is what we are known for. We, we, are, we are easygoing. You know, we know the strong head. We, we don't. From, from, from just we came back to Abuja. Now we were experienced. We, uh -uh, we know. Let me tell you one thing about these predators. In the middle of, not in the middle of the night, it was already night time. I said, let me just go and get some suya outside. That's what he called them. Let me just go and get some suya outside. One man drives the pens. Hey, hey, sister, sister, I know you, I know you. Oh, you know me. Yes, yes, I know you. We met, we met. Oh my God, where did we meet? <laughs> you didn't see one guy come and grab me. I said, Kidnap you. <laughs> that's a that's not a predator, that's a kidnapper. <laughs> I said, no, don't take me away. I'm being rude. He says he knows me. Do you know him? I am being rude. <laughs> that's a kidnapper. <laughs> that guy saved your life. He saved your life. You know? He I saved your life. You so have been nice. kidnapped. Ah, that was so nice. After after Suya there's Shawama. That's how we met with some uh, white boys now. They also came. We met in Abuja. It was one big ass party. 
<laughs> when you point and kill, the fish was sweet. Actually, it, it was hot and it was spicy. Uh, By the time I opened my eyes and said, let me eat. You, just pepper. You, you didn't have experience. Ice point and kill. Hot <laughs> and spicy. Point and kill. I enjoy myself. I enjoy myself so much. So, you know, I, I think I believe very much that these were the experiences that actually opened her mind and prepared her, you know, to meet a Nigerian yeah. in another setting. So that's why it's important for you to have as much experience as you will. Most of you have been fed with negative stories about people. You, even some of you have even experienced this negativity for yourself. So that is what has clouded your judgment about how you speak how you relate with people from that place but for me i would say it is the highest level of idiocy for you to you know take one experience and paint a whole group of people or take one story and paint a whole group of people with it how did you feel when i told you oh i've been to nigeria the first time you know i was very excited that she had been to nigeria and i was even more excited to meet someone from botswana for the first time because i had studied and learned a lot about botswana uh -huh. Uh, Sasereti Kama, the story about him marrying uh, his oh, wife and everything because I studied international relations so these are some of the stories yeah. we, we studied so it was exciting for me to meet somebody from this small country that I didn't imagine I could ever meet because you know they don't travel most, mostly you know unlike us we are everywhere but it was so exciting so that cross-cultural excitement yeah. you know was part of the reason why we found ourselves here today. So please try to you know know more about Open other people's mind. culture. Open your mind and mm. you know who knows what it might turn out to be. If anything, you'll be a better citizen of the world. Exactly, exactly. Anyway, so, that's my experience. Yeah, that was a, and please I want to say thank you to the bank. You didn't mm? toast my wife. Who knows where she would have been now? Well, wait, 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 wait. Where were you at that time? Uh, 2000, I was in my second year in the university. We yeah. need to look for a picture of how he looked like. And, my second, and thank God I didn't meet her at that time. <laughs> because she wouldn't have looked at me twice. <laughs> she wouldn't have looked at me twice. That one I know. She wouldn't have looked at me twice. True, true. Yeah. So, we just thank God for how he made things happen. And, you know, we found <laughs> ourselves. Yeah, so so that is the story of the time Happy spent two months in Nigeria and we look forward to going back you know together for her to experience Nigeria with you again with me yes, yes. Yes, yes. anyway guys thank you very much for tuning in and uh, we remain the happy AD after channel don't forget to like subscribe and share and leave comments mm -hmm. in the comment section below we would like to know what you think bye